just want to put your arms out like that? On today's show, some people dream of flying with eagles. This man made it happen. Wow. Take along as we go up and away here in Minnesota. Hey everybody, Laura and I welcome you to Minnesota Bound. Up first, one of the most unique stories we have ever documented. You know, a lot of people around these parts get a chance to watch bald eagles. It seems like they're everywhere. But few have a chance to soar with the eagles. One Minnesotan is changing that. Man has always attempted to try and tame the wind. Suppose that's why Minnesota's fall compass points towards Peppa a bluff country lake of massive Mississippi River proportions. A spot where wind steers people to water. It's um, pretty special here. Amanda Peterson loves lake life. It's a magical place. It gives me this feeling of peacefulness, you know, that's hard to recreate or capture anywhere else. She always felt grounded here. This is what home is. Until right now. Are you nervous? I am excited. I'm going to channel <laughs> that energy into excitement. Excitement to sail with this guy. Manny, you've been watching us for the last three, four years, and you decided to come fly with us. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get you in the harness. <laughs> okay. I want David Dibson loves to ride Lake Pepin's breeze. You're going to be able to feel wind between your toes. Oh Although his sailboat looks different. Look up in the sky, you see a big white puffy cloud way up there. We're going that high. Oh my gosh, an imminent feeling. <laughs> I'm gonna be flying here real soon. Lake City, number one, is the birthplace of water skiing. And now the birthplace of eagle hang gliding. So there we go. So it's a little bit windier on the way up. David figured ingenuity could help him sort of kill. If you just want to put your arms out like that. Uh, two birds with one stone. And go ahead and flap. <laughs> I started experimenting about 15 years ago with towing off of the back of the boat. Okay. You don't have to hold on tight. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Using a winch and a very long rope. And there's 6,000 feet of line on our spool. Yep. More than a mile of line. So while we're towing up, it's a little bit windier because we're like a kite. Woo! We gotta get bounced around. Is that okay? That's good. Okay. Because that's the reason the eagles are out. Okay. <laughs> wow. David's guests see Lake Pepin with new perspective. It's just beautiful up here. Especially when time comes to cut the cord. Oh my gosh. Whoa, baby. No way. So we take off the back of the boat. When we get up to the desired altitude, I release from that tow line and we free fly away. <laughs> but as soon as we release from that tow line, everything goes really quiet. The topography is an amazing thing to see from the air. You could see everything, like the fields, the river, the, it was the bluffs. David steers his hang glider to the bluffs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> to catch thermal air rising. When the wind blows across the lake and hits one of these bluffs, it turns that air and shoots it vertical. It's called orographic lift. The stuff hang gliding pilots dream of. If we want to know what the conditions are like, we just look up in the sky and see if there's any eagles. Bald eagles use that lift and also thermals to drift around Lake Pep. Oh my gosh, you can see them! The spot Amanda realizes Look at that! They do not fly alone. We had eagles above us and below us and around us. I mean, it was just amazing. Soaring with the eagles <laughs> is not just a phrase anymore. Seriously. I'd be like, no, I actually really? <laughs> soar with eagles. <laughs> 
the slow descent back down to the lake and the boat. An adventure of its own. And then when he dipped you down for the landing, you know, it felt like a roller coaster a little bit. Like, it was awesome. David's Bluff Country Bird Tour. Yeah, I think you did pretty good. That's amazing. A ride that certainly won't break the bank. Totally recommend it. But might just take your breath away. It was, I'm speechless. It was so great. <laughs>